Hello, J.E. 2024 aspirants and NEET aspirants as well. So, what would be the impact of syllabus reduction from the NCRT side onto J.E. mains and NEET? This is what we guys are going to discuss in this particular video. So, for 2024, syllabus, J.E. mains, NEET ka kya hona wala hai, us pe thoda sa hum discuss karenge. Kwi clarity nahi hai, but confusion bohat hai, to thoda sa logical clarity karne ki koshish karenge. So, how much should I do? Agla sawaal aata hai ki har banda agar kuch bol raha hai, to kya karna hai? Pahle samajhte hai, problem kya hai? Bohat saare bachyo ko, they might not be understanding why we are even talking about syllabus reduction. Why? Because a lot of students do not generally follow the CBSE board curriculum, but they follow different state board curriculum as well. So, what has happened, bachyo? That the NCRT syllabus got rationalized this year. Right? Rationalized means they have reduced some topics. They have reduced or in fact fully removed some chapters from the NCRT textbook. Now, CBSE or when we talk about NTA, they claim that they do not want that they should, you know, in a way, encourage coaching culture in India. That's what you must have heard. Now, if they start asking questions which are not mentioned in their textbooks, that would be a sort of encouragement to coaching and coaching mafia as they call it. So ideally, they should not be asking questions which are not mentioned or which the topics which are not covered at NCRT. But regularly, every year, we see that the kind of questions that are being asked at JE majorly are not up to the level that we think of NCRT. For example, mathematics, which is JE means wo bahut zyada tough hai as compared to what you expect from ncrt then why we are still discussing anything about the ncrt rationalized syllabus now there are but two sort of rationalization that are, that were being done one is removal of topics from a chapter so when i say removal of topics from a particular chapter that is nothing to do with j e mains or neat syllabus they can ask you anything be very clear about it i will tell you this also with the help of example that if you have seen J.E. Main's questions this year or the last year as well, there were some questions of limits which were using expansion series, E, e, e key expansion series, ko, which is mentioned in appendix, not even used entirely anywhere. We are, we, we are not being taught logarithms, but logarithms are mentioned in appendix and we do get a lot of questions in logarithmic base. Now that is where if anything is mentioned in NCRT, you have to understand that it could be asked Despite the fact it might not get covered at your board exam. Now, but the problem with me is that these are the list of chapters that have been completely removed. Completely removed. So, chemistry was the biggest hit in terms of rationalized syllabus. Jahan par ye sare chapters completely hata diye gai. And if you notice, hydrogen, S block, P block, P block here, polymer, chemistry in everyday life. Surface chemistry, environmental chemistry, all of them have been removed. So, this is again my opinion, Bacho. It could be completely wrong. So, take it with a pinch of salt. I am expecting some changes at the J mains and the NEET level with respect to this. Because if entire inorganic chemistry, it's almost like the entire inorganic chemistry, bonding is left, uh, you know, uh, coordination compound is left. Uske liye shayad DNF jod diya unhone, P block hata diya. But, we expect कि यार अगर इतना सब कुछ हटा दिया है, तो इससे पेपर में क्वेश्चंस बनने नहीं चाहिए। But should you not study it? I, I will talk about that. Just give me a minute. So you can see a list of chapters which have been completely removed. If we talk about physics, nothing has been removed fully. पूरा चैप्टर कोई हटा नहीं है। चैप्टर के अंदर से उन्होंने बीच-बीच में से छोटे-छोटे पॉइंट्स हटा दिए हैं, जो कि बहुत ही अजीब सी बात है। then in mathematics, they have removed completely principle of mathematical induction, mathematical reasoning, which was very much asked And they have started asking innovative questions on reasoning. This year, they have completely removed it. No chapter in pull has been removed. Only topics have been removed in class 12th syllabus as of now. If you will see, very funnily, very fun, whatever you want to call, vector has been removed in vector 3D. In probability, mein se they have removed Bernoulli trials. If we start following the rationalized content, there is nothing left to prepare. Honestly speaking, I know that as a teacher. But completely removing inorganic chemistry, that is something which you can be aware of. Biology, if I talk about, they have removed uh, 
three chapters in class 11 and three chapters in class 12, they've completely removed, completely removed. Now, what is the impact of all this, right? Will this chapter not be asked at the exam, right? So if a chapter is completely negated from the slavers, the chances are that they might have an impact on J mains level or the neat level. So J advanced level, no, J advanced level ho sakta hai, koi impact na ho, J advanced curriculum hamesha se alag raha hai, but we can expect some or minor changes. But I am not saying that you don't remove these chapters. Study them wherever you are studying, wherever you are studying, wherever you are studying. Now, if we logically talk about it, nobody knows if it will remove or not. And do not believe, either me also, till the NTA announces this. The problem is that the NTA will announce it in the month of December, one month before the examination date. Then what you will do? You will have spent a lot of energy on these chapters. And you might be having a backlog of these chapters or what you are playing with your mind. So if we have a logical step, logical discussion, karein, so if you are feeling weak in those chapters and because of which it has created a backlog and because of which you might have a further backlog on some chapters which are definitely in NCRT syllabus, then you can actually avoid these chapters. I'm not saying that do not do them when a teacher is te teaching you this chapter. Definitely you should. But if you are not able to maintain the speed of the class, if you are not able to solve enough questions of these particular chapters, do not be bothered. Maintain the same speed as per your class, the chapter which is going in your class. Follow that. You can come back and do them later. And God forbid, if these chapters are removed, you will be saved a hell lot. If you notice carefully, in chemistry, they are trying to ask you questions that we are always crying. Sir, rectification is so much, rectification is so much. उन्होंने सारे रेटाफिकेशन वाले टॉपिक उड़ा दिए अब अच्छा स्टेप है बट वहीं पर बच्चे रोएंगे क्योंकि वो स्कोरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी वाले चैप्टर्स भी हटा दिए मैथ्स में रीजनिंग की तो एक स्कोरिंग था जहां पर आप कहते थे एक वन शॉट देख लिया क्वेश्चन सॉल्व हो जाएगा वो हटा दिया उन्होंने तो आप अगर उस लिहाज से सोचते हैं इट्स अ गुड स्टेप दे आर ट्राइंग टू मेक द पेपर मोर लॉजिकल मोर एनालिटिकल एंड रिमूविंग द रेटाफिकेशन पार्ट दैट यू बीन क्रिपिंग अबाउट entirely for the last 20, 30 or whatever years we have been. So please, I again repeat, it is not that they have been removed. I'm just trying to say what can a logical deduction be from this and how to prioritize your preparation. That's the only step. Otherwise, you guys are intelligent enough, smart enough, keep working hard, but do not make any random plans. Whatever your teacher is telling at this point in time, just be with them and make sure that the April, uh, don't just wait for the April attempt, January attempt is your main attempt for J mains guys. And for that to happen, you have to have to cover your syllabus by max November end. So that December is complete revision. I have made several videos on expected date, what and when you should cover the syllabus, what should be your roadmap or plan. Please watch those videos. I will attach the link in the description box. Please go and watch them. God bless you all. Keep working hard.